Your testimony in Jesus Christ isn't just what you say, it's who you are. Happy and forever are not the imaginary stuff of fairy tales. True enduring joy and eternity with those we love are the very essence of God's plan of happiness. His lovingly prepared way can make our eternal journey happy and forever. Jesus Christ is both the purpose of our focus and the intent of our destination. To help us to remain fixed and heading in the right direction, the Savior invites us to see our lives through Him in order to see more of Him in our lives. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope for all in this life. There is hope to overcome our mistakes, our sorrows, our struggles, and our trials and our troubles. There is hope in repentance and being forgiven and forgiving others. I testify that there is hope and peace in Christ. He can carry us today through difficult times. In Gethsemane on the cross, he claimed these sins. He made a way for us to let go of a vengeful heart. That way is through forgiving, which can be one of the most difficult things we ever do, and one of the most divine things we ever experience. On the path of forgiveness, Jesus Christ's atoning power can flow into our lives and begin to heal the deep crevices of the heart and soul. President Russell M. Nelson has taught that the Savior offers us the ability to forgive. Through his infinite atonement, you can forgive those who have hurt you and who may never accept responsibility for their cruelty to you. It is usually easy to forgive one who sincerely and humbly seeks your forgiveness, but the Savior will grant you the ability to forgive anyone who has mistreated you in any way. Then their hurtful acts can no longer canker your soul. The Savior offers to those who have been hurt and injured the sustenance and help we need to be made healed and made whole. We are not left to deal with the consequences of others' actions on our own. We too can be made whole and given the chance to be saved from the weight of a warring heart and any actions that may follow. The Lord has said, I, the Lord, will forgive whom I will forgive, but out of you it is required to forgive all men. The Lord requires us to forgive for our own good, but He does not ask us to do it without His help, His love, His understanding. Through our covenants with the Lord, we can each receive strengthening power, guidance, and the help we need to both forgive and to be forgiven. Please know that forgiving someone does not mean that you put yourself in a position where you continue to be hurt. We can work toward forgiving someone and still feel prompted by the Spirit to stay away from them. How many wounded individuals do we have among us? How often do we judge others based on their outward appearance and actions or lack of action, when if we fully understood, we would instead react with compassion and a desire to help instead of adding to their burdens with our judgment? No matter how capable, educated, brilliant, or strong we are, we cannot cleanse ourselves from our sins, change our bodies to an immortal state, or exalt ourselves. It is only possible through the Savior Jesus Christ and His infinite atonement. There is none other way nor name given under heaven whereby man can be saved in the kingdom of God. It is His atoning blood that cleanses us and sanctifies us. When we ask for revelation about something God has already given clear direction, we open ourselves up to misinterpreting our feelings and hearing what we want to hear. If we have received personal revelation for our situation and the circumstances haven't changed, God has already answered our question. Even as we trust God's prior answers, we need to be open to further personal revelation. After all, few of life's destinations are reached via a non-stop flight. We should recognize that personal revelation may be received line upon line and precept upon precept, that revealed direction can be and frequently is incremental. 
Let me be perfectly clear. Any kind of abuse of women, children, or anyone is an abomination to the Lord. He grieves, and I grieve. Whenever anyone is harmed, he mourns, and we all mourn for each person who has fallen victim to abuse of any kind. Those who per perpetrate these hideous acts are not only accountable to the laws of man, but will also face the wrath of Almighty God. As we take up our crosses and follow Him, it would be tragic if indeed the weight of our challenges did not make us more empathetic and more attentive to the burdens being carried by others. But even with the increasing worldly influences around us, we need not fear. The Lord will never desert His covenant people. Yes, God our Heavenly Father lives, and He manifests Himself to us all the time in multiple ways. The reward for keeping covenants with God is heavenly power, power that strengthens us to withstand our trials, temptations, and heartaches better. The Savior knows your struggles in detail. He knows your great potential to grow in faith, hope, and charity. The commandments and covenants He offers you are not tests to control you. They are a gift to lift you towards receiving all the gifts of God and to returning home to your Heavenly Father and the Lord who love you. Are you seeking to cut through all the cunning and the snares and the wiles of the devil so prevalent in the philosophies of our day? Do you desire to disperse the clouds of confusion caused by an overabundance of information in order to focus more singularly on the covenant path? Please try the virtue of the Word of God. I believe the Savior Jesus Christ would want you to see, feel, and know that He is your strength, that with His help there are no limits to what you can accomplish, that your potential is limitless. He would want you to see yourself the way He sees you, and that is very different from the way the world sees you. The Savior would declare in no uncertain terms that you are a daughter or a son of the Almighty God. Your Heavenly Father is the most glorious being in the universe, full of love, joy, purity, holiness, light, grace, and truth. And one day, He wants you to inherit all He has. It is the reason why you are on the earth to learn, grow, and progress, and become everything your Father in Heaven has created for you. To make this possible, He sent Jesus Christ to be your Savior. It's a purpose behind His great plan of happiness, His Church, His priesthood, the Scriptures, all of it. That is your destiny. That is your future. That is your choice.